Um, so, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts. If you couldn't tell from the intro, this video is inspired by Simply Neological, fellow Canadian YouTuber, Mother Sock, who encourages us to stay in school and not drop out to become slime youtubers if you watch her as well we all know that we only watch her for her amazingly intricate and creative nail art designs so i was watching one of her videos the other day and i suddenly thought hey i've never done nail art before and i have all these mini beads that i got from the art cow warehouse there are so many colors that i got and i just thought i need to make some mini bead nails it was so random and i just had to try it because it's so easy and it actually turned out pretty cool see so i I will be showing you how I made these mini bead nails. All you'll need are some mini beads, a mini bead pegboard, ironing film and iron, and preferably some tweezers so you can pick up the beads and create your designs. Also, please don't take this video too seriously. It's all in good fun. And without further ado, let's get started with making these beautiful nails. To begin making the mini bead nails, I'm going to need a clear mini bead pegboard and it's best that it's clear so that I can estimate approximately how many beads can fit onto to one of my nails and then I have all these different colors to make something cool let's see how it turns out got my handy tweezers I decided to go with sort of a color gradient from the reds the yellows greens blues and purples since art cow has all of these different colors I wanted to use as many of them as possible and see that's about the right size for my thumb Ooh, it's actually looking kind of nice and then next will be for my index finger the nails are all kind of the same size so it'll all be the same template for these three fingers and then the pinky will be a lot smaller For this one, I'm gonna add two more beads here, but only after I put this onto a piece of tape so that it can go right in the middle of these three beads here. All right, so the five nails are done. I just need to iron these now, and just to give you an idea of how long it took me to make these, it's been 13 minutes just because these beads are so small, I had to pick all these different colors using the tweezers. Now I just have to prepare these for ironing and I'm using the tape method so that I can take these off of the board and this time I will be ironing them for a very long time so I don't want to risk heating up the board and melting it or causing it to warp and that's just how it's done. Take it off like that and for this pinky piece I'm just going to add these two pieces to the tip right in the middle like that so that it's kind of curved over like a nail now that each of the nails are ready to be ironed i'm just going to preheat my iron to around one and a half to two. For the ironing process, I'm going to be ironing each of the nails one at a time because I'm going to be doing it a bit differently than from how I usually do it. Usually I would iron it just so that there are still some holes showing, but I'm going to completely melt these beads so that it's actually one complete flat plastic piece. And of course, I'm going to be using some ironing film, which will give the nails a shiny finish. And I think that'll make it look a lot prettier than just having some matte nails. Then I just go in with the iron and I just keep it on top of all the beads until I see that all the holes are gone. This usually doesn't take too long since these are mini beads and they'll melt a lot faster. So all of the holes are almost gone as you can see. So I just need to do a little bit more and it should be good to flip over. Just remove the tape from the other side and then we can continue ironing with another piece of film on top.
While it's still hot, I can bend the beads to fit the curvature of my nail. So that is a really important part. I'm going to be using a pen to help me with making the nail curve since it's super hot. And then that should help get it into the shape of my nail. Let's get it curving so that it will have a nice fit onto my thumbnail here. So that looks like it is a nice fit around my nail. And see, it's just a bit curved. And now that it's cooled down, it'll stay that way. Let's finish up the other ones. Here are the nails ready to be glued onto my fingers and they're all curved to fit the curvature of my nail. Now I don't have any peel off base coat or I don't even think that would work with this and I don't want to use any nail glues or things that are hard to remove from my nail. I'm going to be using some clear glue because I actually use this as an adhesive and I'm hoping that it will work in sticking the beads onto my nail. So just apply a little, well, a lot of it onto my thumbnail and then getting one of these to just go on top. And I guess I wait. Seems to be sticking on pretty well right now. Yeah, this is actually working. I'm doing nail art. Am I a nail artist yet? This is so weird. I've never even put on nail polish for like the last 10 years. So this is definitely a first for me. And oh, oh my gosh, it's actually turning out pretty nice. So let me just get the last two on here and then we shall wait a little bit for them to dry. And then I can take a nice Instagram photo with these colorful nails. Okay, perfection. Now all of the bead nails are on my hand and I just need to wait for them to dry. This is such a weird feeling. I don't even want to clamp my hands together because I'm afraid one of the nails will fall off. Oh my gosh, I have claws, rainbow claws. Ooh, oh my God. Yeah, that's actually everything. Wow. Do you see this? This actually looks really nice on the camera, but in person it's just, it's really weird because it's kind of thick. See, that's how thick one of the nails. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have rainbow nails. My nails have never looked this pretty. I also have never grown my nails out this long, so it's just it's just so weird to have such a long nail coming out from my fingers. Can I even eat with this? Oh. Wait, what's that on my other hand? On my other hand, I made this really simple solid color nail set and I just chose some blues and purples See, I don't know how to make it all pretty the way Supreme Logical shows are all for nails. Now, both hands are covered. Yep, I don't think you'll see another video like this one from me. Unless you actually want to, me to make some Halloween nails, maybe when that time comes, I'll make some really scary looking nails. See, who needs to buy those fancy nail pieces when you can just make them out of mini beads? 
and to any color you want. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this really unusual and non-practical video. I just wanted to have some fun today and just do something that I thought was crazy but also kind of genius. The nails are dry now for the most part and I mean they're not falling off which is great. And again, please don't take any of this seriously. You can try this yourself, but I don't know. Will these fall off? I'm not gonna actually try to have these stuck on my nails because I have to go to work, so. I'll just take a few Instagram photos with my new nails. You can check out my Instagram at cutiecrafts and I would love for you to see the pictures I take with these crazy nails. This is more like an experiment or like a just a miscellaneous Monday video. It's just a random video I have on my channel, but I will have more tutorials and like reviews, I guess, for bead crafts coming up. Make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you'll know when I post my next videos. Don't forget to hit the like button as well if you enjoyed watching me make these beautiful nails. Thanks so much for watching and making it all the way to the end of this really strange video. And I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye. I also gave my mom a nude color set and into the peely jar